Hello friends and welcome to Linux Realm. Today we look at GNOME Boxes. Boxes is an application that gives you access to local virtual machines. It is available for GNOME desktop users. It might be available on KDE. Now for you to use GNOME Boxes, your processor should support virtualization and you need adequate amount of RAM and hard disk space as well. The recommended amount is 8 GB of RAM and more than 20 GB of disk space. Boxes uses KEMU, KVM and LibVirt virtualization technologies underneath. If it doesn't come pre-installed with GNOME, you can install it from the GNOME software center or use the following command to install it depending on your system. Looking at GNOME boxes itself, if we go to the options we have under the about section, you can check whatever version of GNOME boxes you're using. Uh, mine is version 42.0.1 stable. Again, we have keyboard shortcuts. Uh, these are supposed to help you navigate your way around GNOME boxes easily. We have F1 for help, F10 for open main menu, and F11 for full screen and such. We also have help. This is a very documented guide for you to get started with uh, GNOME boxes. Getting started with virtual machines, you can read for yourself how to get started. You can also read about uh, 3D acceleration if your PC has the capabilities and also creating snapshots. We also have how to create a backup and USB directions as well. Yeah, it's pretty detailed. So if you need help, it's always available here. You can read from there. Now over here, you can see I already have two OSs installed. I have Parrot and Car OS. So let me get back to Parrot. All right. So while looking at the virtual machines that is running here, uh, if I go to these options above here, is option to send file. So this allows me to send a file from my host PC to the virtual machine. So you can see it's opened a dialog for me to select a file from my local PC. I'll select this one and press open and immediately you can see it's been copied to the desktop on the virtual machine. Now there is also the option for taking a screenshot. Uh, if I take a screenshot here, it will be saved on the host PC in the directory uh, pictures. We can see it's right here. And then we also have the option for force shutdown restart. And then under preferences, this is very important. You can see how much resources has been allocated for your system. For instance, I have given it for CPUs, 4 GBs of RAM and 20 GB of hard disk space. So I can adjust this to either three or two CPUs if I want and the memory to either more or less and the storage as well. I can adjust whichever way I want. You can also allow, if you want the virtual machine to run in background, you can allow from here. I won't be allowing that. We have configurations, troubleshooting logs. Uh, if you want to troubleshoot in case of any issues, it's right here. And it automatically opens on the host PC with a text editor. The log files for my current virtual PC. We also have the option for edit configuration. If you decide to edit, just click over here. It will ask you whether you want to create a snapshot first, which is very important. So make sure to select yes. And once it is ready, here it is a draft of my current OS. So it's right here. If I want to edit, I can edit from here. And then the next session we have our USB devices. Now before I check on this one, you can see my Parrot OS has been minimized to this section. Let me bring it back to full screen. Then if I go back to preferences and uh, devices, under devices here you can see your available USB devices of which these are devices that are available on your host PC and you can share them to your virtual machine. For instance, we have the webcam. Uh, this is for Bluetooth drivers. 
uh, this is my microphone and a USB storage so suppose I share my webcam and my Bluetooth and the USB storage automatically you can see the Bluetooth is now available here and I can connect to any device I want from the OS uh, from the virtual machine using the shared uh, USB devices which is now as uh, the USB adapter has been shared to the virtual PC again the webcam I can go over here uh, to cheese and I can launch my webcam and then for the USB storage here it, it is it's connected to my host PC and now I can access it from uh, the virtual machine this is very important this is what I was referring to as a USB redirection so in case I need any files from here I can copy them from the virtual machine to the USB and then on the host PC I'll be able to use whichever way I want now if I did not intend to use those uh, shared devices I can release them for I can release the webcam uh, the Bluetooth device and the USB storage and they will revert back to the host PC all right then finally we have uh, snapshots all the snapshots I've created are listed over here now these ones are very important in case you mess up with your system you can easily recover now if I intend to share files between uh, my host PC to the virtual machine let's say I take an example of uh, this clip right here I can click it drag and drop and it will be received on the virtual machine right and it's pasted on the desktop now if we try to drag the other way, the other way around and I may just try to drag this one to my host PC it can paste on the host PC so that's where USB redirection comes in handy installing OS on the virtual machine is not that difficult uh, right now if I decide to add a new one I just need to click add over here and then if it's Ubuntu I decided to download and install I will select the ones available here so this one requires you to have internet connection to download automatically if you already have the ISO file just click over here create virtual machine from the file however if you want to download another OS that's not Ubuntu just click a download you will search for whatever OS you want and download the ISO then you install but uh, for my case I already have the ISO file so I'm supposed to click create here select my ISO file just navigate to wherever you have the ISO file and select it and click open enter username and password and allow it to continue with installation and uh, that's the end of our today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and catch you on the next one